Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to The Ancient Magus' Bride, episode 19. So it's been a little while. Um, it's been a month, actually. December 6th was the last time I uploaded uh, an episode of this show. And the reason is simply the holidays and everything. Um, I wanted to focus on, um, I guess you could say, the important stuff. Um, but we're getting back to this, and we're going to continue getting to this on as much of a consistent basis as possible. Because um, I already know what I'm replacing it with, and that is going to be the Owl House. Now, the Owl House starts on the 10th, which is in two days. Um, but yeah, I want, I'm not going to get to it right away, but I want to get to it as quickly as I can. Now, um, as to what happened last time on Ancient Magus's Bride, I honestly don't remember. Um, looking at the thumbnail, uh, it's when Chise is shoving the, uh, medicine into Elias's throat because he's uh been out of it for a while um I don't remember if 18 was the episode where he kind of went crazy or if that was 17 and 18 was the aftermath of that I'm not 100% sure but I do know he kind of went crazy with jealousy over Cheesy hanging out with someone else someone new um so yeah <laughs> there is that um, but either way, yeah, we're getting back to this, and I'm excited to see more. Um, I really do love this series. Despite these long breaks and everything, despite the fact that I did technically drop it at one point, I do love this series. I always have. And I can't wait to see how it ends. Now, I don't know if there's going to ever be a second season. I haven't heard of there being one. Um, and from what I can tell based on where this is going i have a feeling that this will all wrap up by the end of this season um that the big stuff with um Chise's shortened life expectancy due to her being a sleigh baggy um her relationship with elias the stuff with the uh one bad guy who i cannot remember the name of uh who's been kind of just plotting things for most of the season but actually did have an appearance at one point like a legitimate big appearance um all of this i feel is going to get wrapped up by the end um so i don't know if there's going to need like be a need for a second season but i guess we'll see um i am excited to see more of this so we're just going to get right into it uh, so when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the uh, episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. Okay, so there was... There's a bit that happened this episode, but I'm just going to focus on the main stuff. So, we know that the two dra the two little dragons got kidnapped. Um, we see that uh, the, the main villain, whose name I just cannot remember, um, is behind it. He, it's like he has two names. I, I cannot remember the one of them because it's this really fancy name. But it's like the other one is Joseph, and it's like, I think there's like two souls inside the same body or something, and like fighting for control. Like the, I, is it Cartophilius? Something like that? I, it might be something like that. But it's like, he's the one in control currently, and he's the bad guy. And then Joseph, who Chise in this episode saw in, it wasn't really a dream or a vision. It was like she went into another plane of existence in her sleep. And and she met Joseph. But Joseph, and this was like the real personality. Which is really fascinating. 
So I want, I'm, I'm interested to see where that goes. Um, but meanwhile, we have the college uh, who have been introduced, and we find out, like, those messages that Elias was stopping, what that is all about. Um, so we find out that this college for alchemists is apparently trying to recruit Chisei. Uh, but they end up going to Elias's to actually ask for help after the Selkie comes to them, um, Lindell Selkie, and to, you know, ask for help with the dragons and all. Um, at first, Elias refuses, but Chise pleads with him and tells him, basically uses her, well, human emotion, something that she's still teaching him in. Um, and, and like I said in the reaction, that's something we still have to remember. Elias... He thinks with logic and intent rather than emotion. And we can't blame him for that because he lacked he, he lacks that humanity still. That's kind of one of the big plot elements of this of the series, and definitely for his character. Um the entire point is that he's we need to have him to see him learn humanity from Chise, and Chise is trying to teach him what it means to be human. And he's receptive, he's learning, like, when she pleads with him in this episode, he does listen and agrees to it. We've seen him continue to learn. He, I mean, he had just learned what jealousy meant, and what it meant to be jealous and to deal with that, so yeah. Um, but so they, they ask for help in getting back the dragons. Chise has a plan. So the dragons are going to be auctioned off, she figures, because of how much they're worth. Um, so she reaches out to their old friend, um, whose name I already forgot. I, I'm not good with names in this series. Um, and he agrees to help. And so she gets some monetary help from the college. She has apparently some money from her own auction back when that happened. And so she's trying to basically bid on and win the dragon in order to save him. However, the dragon ends up going crazy and is corrupted, uh, which we have we've seen this happen before. Um, so it's not a new concept to this series, but it's been a while since we've actually seen it utilized. Um, but it's cool to see that it is being utilized again. So the dragon goes crazy, breaks through the binding spells, and escapes. Everybody runs away. The dragon starts breathing fire. And Chise, presumably due to her slave eggy powers, uh, kind of has this super empathy um, connection with the dragon. And, and it very much reminds me of Steven Universe, with the way Steven has that connection to Blue Diamond. And whenever she's crying, he starts crying too. Um, well, I mean, granted, we find out that it's it's Blue Diamond's powers in general, and it's not, and it affects others, not just Steven. But still, it kind of reminded me of that, uh, nonetheless. Because when uh, we first meet Blue Diamond and all, it, like her tears, Steven, it, it literally it comes to him, and just like with Steven. Yeah, it's, it may not be his emotions completely, but that doesn't mean he doesn't feel empathy. Steven is very empathetic. Um, and Chise is the same way. Yeah, these emotions may not be fully hers. It may be her powers being overloaded with the emotions of the dragon himself. But if you don't think that she's not feeling this way, you're crazy. But then again, again, uh, Elias isn't like, fully knowledgeable about human emotions, so he doesn't realize that this is still how Chise is feeling. She just doesn't express and emote herself that heavily, usually. This is all, this is, yes, the uh, dragon's um, feelings and emotions being poured into her, sure. But it's still the way she's feeling. Um, we, we met some new characters, some other alchemists, and they're okay, I guess. I, I don't really have any major thoughts on them. Um, but we also did see, uh, 
Cardophilia? I, 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 I don't know if that's even right, but I, I guess I'll go with Cardophilius. Um, we saw him what looked like he, um, dissecting one of the baby dragons while the other one watched. The one that was watching is the one that ended up getting auctioned off. Um, I don't know like what happened to the one that looked like it was being dissected, though. That's bad. Let's just put it that way. And I think that this works as a plot line as well because we had met these characters earlier in this series. These dragons, um, we met these baby dragons. We met Lindell. We learned to care about them. They're cute. They're fun. They're likable. If we hadn't really had that kind of connection built with them, this wouldn't be as sad. This wouldn't be as emotionally gripping of a plot point at this point in the series. Um, and even though it's been a good while since those episodes with the dragons, it still resonates because we remember these characters. So, yeah. Um, so so I really like how they're doing this. It, it, it is definitely emotional. I was getting very emotional with, with Cheese A at the end there. Um, and I... I I really do believe Chize will be able to calm the dragon. I, I think that's where it's going to go. Um, and I think that uh, that we'll be able to save him. But this other person who Chize was making uh, some kind of verbal deal with, the uh, ally, um, they might... Yeah, they, I don't know for sure, especially since Elias is in a female form at the moment. Um, they might be able to uh, help as well. In fact, that it might end up coming down to that. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see where this goes. Like I said at the end of the reaction, uh, if I had the other episode downloaded, I would have just gone right into it. But I don't, and I'm not going to just like cut away to, like, download the episode and everything and have to splice and edit everything all together even further. I'm lazy. Let's be honest. I don't want to have to do all of that editing. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, we're definitely going to continue with this, again, as quickly and consistently as possible because I do want to get to, uh, I do want to get to Owl House as quickly as we can. Um, so, I, I mean, there's, I think, 24 episodes in this series. Which means there would be uh, five left. 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Um, so, yeah, it's just... I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get to them. Especially since I do want to still react to the other stuff on our... Uh, on the channel, like Zombieland Saga and uh, Demon Slayer and all this other stuff. But I do definitely, uh, for sure, want to get to more of this. So probably for the next couple weeks, uh, this week and next week, there's going to be probably a lot of Ancient Mages uh, reactions. Um, so just get used to that. <laughs> I'm going to still try to get to the rest of this stuff as well, of course, but yeah. I'll probably say this in another little update video, too. Um, I'm going to try to get to the other stuff as well. Ruby and My Hero are, again, priority shows, so those ones will definitely still be coming. But I'll try to get to Demon Slayer and uh, Zombieland Saga as well. They just won't be as often, I guess you could say. In the meantime, uh, tell me... Uh, what you thought of this episode, and thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.